Hi and welcome to this guide. In this guide I'm going to be showing you how to max out several of your skills, how to make some really nice armour, and how to make gold. For a start, let's go on to skills. There's lots of different guides about how to max out certain skills easily. Well, I'll just go through a few. For one block, I'm not even going to bother showing you. Get a shield, just find some mob that doesn't hurt you and block its attacks for a couple hours. There you go, level 100 block, nice and easy. Next, smithing. For smithing, best place to do that, and the best way to do it, is the blacksmithing vendor in White Run, Solitude, and down the bottom here, Riften. Also, you can pick up some free bars in Riverwood. In the, in the blacksmith you can pick up 5 steel and 5 iron ingots. Um, buy the iron ingots and the leather and the leather scraps from the other ones and just make lots and lots of iron daggers and leather braces. If you pop around them three places in no time at all you can hit 100 in blacksmithing. It took me under an hour keep them. You can sell them, but they don't sell for much, but if you keep them all, stash them wherever you need to stash them, they'll help you for the next one. Enchanting. Enchanting is one of them skills that a lot of people don't try to level up because they think it's difficult, but it's not. What you want is lots of random unenchanted items, which you can get from black uh, smithing, which you will have lots of several hundred in fact, if you've just got your smithing up to a hundred. Enchanting, best way to do it is in the college when it decides to load. Do, 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 ba, do, ba, do. Right. From the college there are several ways you can go in. Inside the college, if you go up to the uh, Archmage's floor at the top, you can get quite a few soul gems for free. And on the left side and the right sides, you've got these two doors. They both lead to a very similar layer. I'll go through this side. Um, you enter into a room with all the dormitories, or bedrooms, whatever you want to call them soul gems. They respawn every so often. Also the guys that are sleeping here, or they might be walking around depending on the time of the day, they actually sell tons of soul gems. Uh, fairly cheap. You can buy the petty ones, common ones, whatever you like. They, they all give you the exact same XP when you craft items. But yeah, loads of soul gems. And there's two floors to each of the areas. If you go up to the second floor, there's more soul gems, just have a look around. When you've got them, wait for a few days if you want, they'll respawn, or you can just buy more off of the vendors if you've got the cash already. When you've got them, go up to the headmaster's office, the archmage's place, and you can craft all the enchanting stuff you like. You make a fair bit of cash from doing that, and on top of the cash, you'll get your enchanting maxed. With maximum enchanting, you can spec into getting two enchants per item and this is brilliant because with the armor as it is here and the weapons uh, yeah there you go this is with smithing 100 as well you can boost the items up quite nicely and there are several ways the main way I've found is to enchant items with uh, plus 25 to uh, the quality of gear that you improve and then 25 to um, alchemy so then you get your crafting gear and you can do that on necklace rings and braces that gives you 75 percent improved smithing and then you can find a potion from any vendor you like a blacksmithing file that will give you an extra 40% to improving items for 
30 seconds so you get two of those and then you can do your armor and your weapons and you can improve them like that and as for the armor there it is gives me lots and lots of uh, attack and armor this is dragon armor and the ring and necklace they're just random cheap things that I've stuck the top enchants on okay when you've got your enchanting up you can use that to get alteration conjuration and illusion to a hundred extremely fast all you need is some grand soul gems and some empty armor what you want to do is make yourself some armor similar to what I've got here I've got four pieces of armor as you can see necklace head chest and ring all of those this is just um, illusion and alteration if you equip all four of these items you can cast as many spells as you want for free if I go into the one I use to level alteration is paralyzed it's quite a high level spell and you can just cast it um, really fast with both hands for as long as you like and I went from 40 to a hundred in about three four minutes it just absolutely rinsed it um, illusion you want the muffle spell and the uh, conjuration spell if you get soul uh, soul tap soul drain whatever it's called find a random monster that's not going to hurt you and just stand there spamming it constantly you'll get it up in no time, or you can even kill the monster and then just cast it on a dead corpse you know, what's easier than that? 100 in those three so that are tips on how to get all of them skills to 100 as for one handed light armor and the rest you're pretty much on your own a good tip for pickpocketing and uh, sneak and lock picking is when you get your enchanting up you can stick those on armor and you can pretty much be immune to being detected while lock picking and sneaking it's a brilliant way of upgrading those to a hundred I've not yet bothered because I'm getting quite close to finish them off now personal pride and all that and cash well I'm, I'm sure there's a few guides out there but the best way is to get the cash is the Thieves Guild and the Dark Brotherhood. If you don't know how to join those, just find a guide, join them, do the quests. The Dark Brotherhood, you get 20,000 gold for finishing it, plus you get seven or 800 gold for every contract you complete. And the Thieves Guild, um, you just get loads of cash from stealing. Plus, uh, you get, when you finish the Thieves Guild, um, the fence in the Thieves Guild, I can't think of an name, Tamelia. Uh, she has 4,000 gold, um, which resets every two days or so. And she'll just buy everything off of you. So, yeah, brilliant. Get that one sorted. Here's a little overview of what areas I've discovered in my time of playing. Um, if you were, like, stuck for finding certain areas, just have a little look. There's a few dragon shrines there, different camps, different dungeons, stone locations. I hope this has helped. And good luck at making yourself some nice stuff. If you're willing to put in the time and effort to make stuff like this, it's uh, not that difficult. Thanks for watching. And good luck at creating your armor. Peace.